Hi, this is Mary from Mini Album Scraps, Sugar Grove Crafts. And um, I wanted to share with you today a mini album that I made following um, my creative spirit, Claire. I purchased this tutorial from her and um, I kind of, I took what I most pretty much followed it for my second one. So this is really the one that I wanted to share because this um, is a little different than hers. So I'm just going to flip through hers because this is exactly, other than the cover, it's pretty much a 99% or 95% what she does in her tutorial. But um, I just really liked it. I learned a lot um, from doing it. She has this little little thingy here to hold your tags right here. Um, I'm just going to flip through it real quick. This is kind of neat, different. This is the part that I really liked. I liked this one. That's what I changed up in the other one. So, of course, this is a little different because I didn't have what she had, and I didn't go for these and mine. Um, you know, this embellishment's a little bit different, but this is this I I ch used in mine also. Anyway, I'd say for the kind of album that I was looking to do, I think I've learned more from hers, from this particular tutorial, than I have really any of the others. It was, um, well, some of them, you know, you buy the tutorial and they're using things that you don't have. They're using things outside of the collection that they're saying. And for me, when I buy a tutorial, I want to be able to use the paper that I have and not use other things. So, um, you know, I used my own this or something, but... She didn't use like digital where you have to cut things on your silhouette or, or cameo or um, Cricut. She just, it was it was really a good tutorial. And if you like this album, I'd strongly suggest that you get it from her. Okay, so after doing this one, I wanted to make my daughter-in-law one. She works for Animal Control for one of the counties here in California. And on top of that, she just loves, loves, loves animals. <coughs> And um, so we had the raining cats and dogs. So I've just been waiting to make this for her. So I took what I learned in Claire's and I applied it to this album. So I used the same, oh, this is a little, this is a different punch here than I used in that one. Um, and on, my, on the backs of all my tags, I either stamped or put a sticker on them. Um, and then, um, I just put the stickers right here. This is a little different than that one. Um, I made this one up to, uh, it's a, you know, the long flip with the pocket in the middle. I just kind of, I'm sure people have done that before, but I just put two pieces of paper together at the pocket. So that I kind of did on my own. So every other page has paper and then journaling spot both sides. So I like that and this one I said I think I didn't write on the backs of these because there's lines on these pages to write on. I mean I didn't put you know paper on the back because this has journaling spots so I didn't put the and there's magnets Um, this, I, I put two of the, um, so I think this came out of the banners collection, put two of them together there for my flap. And this one is so the other one, you know, flipped up. These, I just made two pocket pulls, one for dogs and one for cats.
And this one has it here and here. And these two have places to write, so I didn't put paper on the back. And at this punch, I used that thumb punch by We Are Memories because you don't have to line up a circle. Um, journaling spot. Oops, missed paper on that one. I have to go do that before I give it to her. And this is just, I just left it for a picture. And this is that half cut page that she does, or angled page. And this is, I just made it real simple. So I took most, I mean, the ideas are all pretty much things I learned from doing Claire's tutorial. Um, I just did a few little things different. Like I said, I learned so much from doing it. Um, it was really fun to make this album, and I hope that she likes it. And thank you for watching.